Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to go over creating your own dark web portfolio. So this idea is basically off the back of a project idea for when you go into an interview for a cybersecurity job and they ask you what sort of uh, side projects that you've done to boost your own portfolio. Now it's worth mentioning this is a very basic version of something that you should mention. I would also throw in there things like if you're going for a defensive job maybe you set up your own PFSense firewall and observe the logs and, and do that. That would be a really good project or if you're going for pen testing maybe an automated Wi-Fi hacking tool or create your own uh, pineapple Wi-Fi rogue access point using a uh, Raspberry Pi or something. So this is like the entry level of that to showcase the rest of the cool projects that you've done. The sort of things you would put on here as well, apart from projects that you've completed is things like CTFs you've done or first bloods on Hack the Box or maybe your profile ranking on Hack the Box or even different meetup groups that you attend or manage. And yeah, then you basically just display it on a web page which is then posted in the dark web. Okay, so we're gonna head on over to my desktop here and I'm using Mac. I've got a few things open here which I'll explain in a second. But first we need to download the two programs that you will need to use. Now it's pretty much the same on Windows, Linux and Mac. It's just different with the different uh, like folders and file paths that you need to save different files to. So for this example, I'm obviously using my Mac but it's Pretty much the same on Windows, just Google the difference. So the first application you will need is MAMP. Now on Windows, it's called WAMP, but you can also use something like Savant or one of those other uh, local web server pieces of software. So with this, first just click on preferences, have a look at your ports and make sure that your port is correct. So I'm using Apache for this one just because that's what came with it basically and I couldn't be bothered changing it to Nginx. So my Apache port number is 8888. So that's something worth writing down. Once that's this software is installed, click start. It'll start your local web server on your computer. So there we go. We're up and there's my MAMP homepage. So well, I'll just minimize this quickly and we'll minimize this guy as well. Now under applications and on Windows it would be under your program files, uh, MAMP or WAMP or whatever it is that you use and you would have a similar sort of layout. Now find your htdocs folder and put an index.html in there. Now this one I've, I've created a pretty elaborate website here with uh, just off some basic template I found on the internet to have a bit of fun with. But um, it's pretty much the same for everything. You don't need to change anything on here. It just needs to be a basic index.html page that's saved under your applications folder under htdocs. That's the root folder that's going to be accessed when you browse to your uh, index on your local machine. So I'll go back to here and we'll go local host 8888. Now that takes me to my website that I've created. So this is the, the HTML version of it, obviously not the code version that you just saw, but it's, it's exactly the same thing. Now heading on back to here, we need to go to this folder under application support. So it's under library application support. Uh, I've got it saved here. So library application support and then you scroll down to Tor Browser Data and find your Tor RC file. Open this file with a text editor and the two lines that you need to add in is this. So this is pointing to another folder which I'll talk about in a second which is where the Tor hidden service directory is as well as the port number which is 80 for web local host or 127001 or home whatever you want to call it with the port number that's associated so once that's written like this you can quit out of that and make sure that that saves there over in your folder that you created so mine was under my home directory so i'll show you what that folder looks like it uses david lee tor hidden service right so that's where i am here and this is where your files will be created. 
So I'll expand that, but I've, I've already completed this on here. So next step is to open your Tor browser. Now once Tor starts opening for the first time, it will create all of these hidden service uh, hostname, public key, secret key files. So that's, that's all good. If you go into your hostname file, you will see your onion address listed there. So if all of those previous very basic steps that you have created are correct, you should be able to enter this website into your Tor browser and you will be able to see your locally hosted website on the dark web. 2000 years later. And there we go. So that's basically it. I, I probably wouldn't call it the dank web or a dark web hacking challenge or something like that. It's just an example I was playing around with. But um, yeah, it's just something kind of cool to have your own profile like this on the dark web. The reason for doing it on the dark web is that it's just that extra step of security and it it's just kind of cool basically. So if you take that to an employer, they're going to be pretty, you know, surprised that you've bothered to make one on the dark web because let's face it, anyone can create a Wix website. Anyone can create a website with Squarespace. Anyone can create a really basic HTML file. It's it's very easy. Just take that extra step of security, seeing as you're applying for a security job, and create one on the dark web. Why not? Now, it's worth mentioning, I probably wouldn't bother making this sort of website on uh, your own computer. Maybe make it on a Raspberry Pi or in a virtual machine so that you don't have to have that machine running all the time. If you're going for an interview and you want to show it off, maybe make sure that it's running before you go to the interview. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically how to create your own dark web website uh, on a Mac. It's pretty much the same on a Windows. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. But uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and please leave me a comment if you have any recommendations for other little projects that you could do to boost your own personal development profile when interviewing for cybersecurity jobs. And yeah, I look forward to talking with you guys soon. Catch you later.